Hello, as the title says, today we're doing a quick review of the new EV in Blender 4.2 to see if it really is a groundbreaking improvement. Let's start with a standard factory scene with models, HDRI environment lighting, spotlights from ceiling lamps, and volumetric effects to set the atmosphere. I'll render now so we can compare it with EV and see if the new EV really matches cycles and quality. It took us about 1 minute and 25 seconds per frame with this scene. Now, let's switch to EV and see how it performs. Hold on, everything seems to be set to high quality settings, so why does it still look like the old EV before baking the lighting? Don't worry, the game changer is in the world properties. In the settings, you'll find a checkbox to enable shadows for the HDRI environment. You'll be surprised once I turn this setting on. Now, the Cycles Preview and EV Preview look very similar, right? I'll try rendering and compare the two images to see if the difference is really noticeable. It's done, and it took about 1 minute and 35 seconds for a frame like this. I might have pushed the quality settings too high, so in the next part, I'll adjust them for faster render times and share my settings with you for reference. In my view, the new EV's render quality is a big improvement over the old version. But compared to Cycles, the objects inside the factory seem a bit darker and the shadows are broader, giving them a slightly unnatural look. In Cycles Render, the shadows and lighting inside the factory look more natural and reveal the objects more clearly. However, it's clear that EV has made major strides. We've completely skipped the lighting bake settings, yet the results are very similar to Cycles. The differences are only noticeable upon close inspection of the details. Now I'll have to seriously consider whether to use Cycles or EV for animation scenes. In the same render time, EV avoids noise in metallic or dark areas compared to Cycles. Switching between EV and Cycles is incredibly convenient now that we've completely bypassed the need for baking lighting maps. Earlier, we faced a render time issue with EV, 1 minute 35 seconds per frame is too long. I'll reduce the render samples by half to see how it affects the render time. 13 seconds 32. I'm satisfied with the result in just 13 seconds. What do you think? I'll leave my new EV settings here. As always, if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to motivate me to make more videos. See you next time.